It's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday morning. October 27th. 9.15 a.m. Uh, first, I am not giving anyone financial advice. I'm just telling you how I trade and showing you what I do on a day-in, day-out basis. Uh, the leading gappers on the day is G-O-E-G. Sorry, G-O-E-D. I-S-I-G. S-P-I. And staff. With a little bit of O-P-T-T. This is my small account. So I'm not trading no $14 stock in my small account. However, I'm going to keep it up here. Spy is also $10, and then staff is uh, a little cheaper, so they put staff over here. So I put in the group to watch this break point right here on OPTT at 140. I'm going to draw a line where I drew it at earlier. It's in the group. Look at news this morning. You'll see some news this morning. It made a run up on that news and it pulled back immediately. So currently it's doing a a 12% retrace. Not bad. At the most I like to see, or I'll get away from it, is a 50% pullback. In this case, it's only eight uh 12%. But you look here, it's riding this uh VWAP, so we good right now. VWAP support. So up here, ISIG, it's riding VWAP the whole time. We good. They got a GOED move. It's going to pop this 1781, probably pre market, but again, a small account. I'm not going to trade, go ahead, my small account. I'm going to put it in the group. If you want to trade it, go ahead. It's in there. It's in the group. All right. So I put in the group that go away will more than likely pop this pre-market high before the market opens. If you look down here, you will see also it has uh, news yesterday, but it popped in today. Uh, this staff right here, looking for news from staff. We see eh, some little news. That's spectacular. It made a move on a little small little news and then dropped back. That's not much or nothing. So right now though, OPTT consolidating. Let me go look at my uh, chart and see the big picture on OPTT. Because a small account, I can't trade large shares, as you guys know by now. Must ain't got it in there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. There we go. Staff right there. 23 million share float. 2.7 million shares being traded. The five uh, minute chart is showing consolidation. Okay, okay, okay. Reverse on the RSI. Okay, okay, okay. The MACD still a little bullish. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, one minute chart is showing the move to the upside. My line is already drawn. It's in the group as well. Here it's not showing that. However, it's a bullish candle. Right volume bar. Above the VWAP. Okay, okay, okay. So 240 is imminent. Make a move right quick. I'll be right back. HTB, hard to borrow. Okay, okay, okay. Everything is pointing upwards. Now look at this crap. Dag on platform be freezing, man. Think of swim. You got to love it. Watch this uh, GOED break this high today. Pre-market. It's almost guaranteed. Pre-market. Watch this. The, the first wall on Go Wet 
after that 1781? That's three years. That's, that's terrible. They don't have three year history. Yeah, that's terrible. It's the highest it's been in quite a long time. It has no it has no ceiling. It has no resistance. I might trade it right now. Let me look at it. On the pullback in, I'm gonna trade the pullback in my large account. I'm watching for a 15, 30 ish pullback. I'm not gonna put in the group because again, it's too large of a stock. And most of us not trading stocks this this expensive with a small account. They go 17 bucks. I want the 15, 15, 30 pullback if I'm gonna buy it. See what, what we got going on ISIG. It's not doing much nothing. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Look at staff right here. Staff about to make that move to the bull side. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Give me a second on my cell phone for a minute, putting stuff in the group and trying to find buy-in points on my large account. I want that 15, 30 pullback on go away if I'm going to buy it. I'm waiting for it. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Let's see, what we at? There we go, 1590s on his GOED. I called a 1530 buy-in. What we at? Bring it down to my buy-in point. A ISIG currently about to pop for a buy candle. We got 45 seconds for the bell open. OPTT, not looking too good right now. 3.7 million shares being traded, 23 million share float. Staff, about to pop. This previous green candle, when it pops that, find support. That'd be a good buy-in point. If you look here in the RSI, it's a pullback. MACD is pullback. Only thing looking like a close to even a buy would be popping this high today on this go ahead and popping this previous candle here in this ISIG with 25 seconds to go. Let me go over here, take a look. Scroll up to my top. Do I see anything over here I'm looking at? Nope, 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 nope. Don't like it. Check my auto send. Got my 100 shares sitting there. I got 200 shares today. And we're going to watch. Here we go. What do we see here? ISIG. Let's see. Make that move. Pop that. See that? Let's go. Make that move. We got to pop this. Uh, 152 right here, and I'm good. 10% would be uh, 28 cents. Let's go. Make that move right there. Man, how come it didn't pop up there? Let's go. There we go. Blow through that point. We blow through this 152. Uh, we good. Oh, I'm watching this. I'm on my cell phone. I'm in go ahead on my cell phone. I wanted that fit that uh 1530 mark. It didn't pull back far enough like I wanted it to. But it's okay. Come on, ISIG. You taking more shares than what you got? All right, go ahead. Hold on, y'all. I'm watching. ISIG. SPI making a move to, I think, uh, Yep, go ahead, hawk on volatility, see? That's why I told you, and where we at? 1516, right? I put in the group a 1530 buy-in point. Perfect, perfect, just like I called it. Perfect. Perfect, just like I called it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Staff. I would flick on the screen to my go ahead trade. I mean, go ahead, sorry, go ahead screen. But I'm currently inside this trade here on ISIG, and I watch it for a quick move before I do that. I'm gonna flick off for a minute. I am. All right, here we go. ISIG, I watch it here. Look at go ahead though. Halting on volatility. It came out the gate. It sold off immediately, right? And now we stuck on the sell on the sell candle. See, I called in the group. Buy in point was fifteen thirty ish. I put in the group. That's why. That's why. That is why. Here come my. Uh, here come my ISIG. If you bought go ahead above that freaking 1530 mark, I'm sorry for you because that thing just screaming dump. Screaming. Plus it's 152 mark. Let's make a move. Come 
Come on, bust that point. Bust that. There we go. Let's go. Blow it. Blow it. If blow it, we gone. Blow it. There we go. Blow it. We almost there. We need one big buyer to blow this mark. If we get supported by this, we gone for a good run. Let's go. One big buyer above that. We're going to hit on the buyer. There you go. I see him coming in. There you go. Let's go. Come on. Blow it. One minute chart. Look at one minute chart showing. There we go. Watch one minute chart. When you get that five minute chart locked in, hop to the hop to the one minute. I don't like it. See, it won't sell. Look, the sale order's already in. It froze on me. Oh, now I want to sell. <laughs> it froze on me. God dang, gonna think of swim, man. Ah, man, think of swim platform been trash for about freaking two weeks. You saw my order was in the sale a long time ago, and it just sat there. Oh, my goodness. Think of swim, you sons of guns. Oh, my goodness. I might buy it again, though. Think of damn swim. Oh, it's terrible, man. Think of Swim Platform has been acting crazy for the last few weeks. And it's costing me daggone money, man. I don't like it at all. So I had to find support above that, that mark right there I put in a group. I mean, on uh, on my chart. I'm looking for a new buy-in. Do I get money available to trade the small account? Let's see. I don't want to push the button. See, I traded what? Yeah, I got money left in a small account. Let's watch another buy-in point. Let's watch. Think of swim, man. Golly, man. I'm gonna buy this again when it pops this. It's uh, when it finds a port above here, I'm buying in. Damn, think of swim, man. This platform has been frozen for weeks, man. Golly, giving money away. Uh, here we go. They're gonna buy in point. Let's buy. Let's run again. I don't know why I tried again. No, this thing gonna freeze on me. Let's go. Blow up at that point. It wanna break that point. It wanna break it. I'm telling you, it wanna break it. Look at that. It wanna break that point. It can't find support above that. It's showing powerful bull bull flag here, right? Bull bull volume. It's showing the bull volume there. But it don't want to break that point. Keep popping that point. I'm going to hold it for a minute this time. I think it's one platform, man. You sons of a gun, man. Hold up. I got that trade I'm seeing on my phone. Hold on. That's dangerous. See how it did me? It's banging that VWAP. But look at the five-minute chart. It wants to blow past that. I'm knowing it. Yesterday, the same thing with uh, one stock, and it, and it killed me. Today, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, Go as out the heart, and they ain't doing nothing. So those of you who freaking bought that Go at that high price, I feel for you. I tried to warn you 1530 was the buy-in point. I'm about to go in the group. I'm looking right now at this uh, go ahead, and I see the buy-in point just crossed. And I hopped in it for a minute. I'm going to hop out at 1650-ish if I can get out with a nice little game. Uh, where we at, Joe?
1608. There we go. 1612. I'm looking at go away to my cell phone. So pay me no attention. I'm gonna go away to my cell phone. Trying to get the, get out of this trade. I'm gonna find a good point to get out though. Meanwhile, this daggone S I sorry I S I G played me on the second on the second run. Uh, there we go. ISIG, second lean gap on the day, up 50%. It's going to make a move in a second. Uh, let me see. Where we at? Where we at? I see uh, ISIG want to go back up to my point. I'm cool with that. We cross this 152 mark. We got room to run. I'm going to put in the group. Come on now, we need one buyer on ISIG, and we got to move. I'm trying to watch and text at the same time. Let me go back to my chart. I see it moving. It wants to blow above it. It wants to blow above 152. It wants to. It wants to. It wants to. It wants to. But it just won't freaking. Where the buyers at? They short selling it right now. It's okay. So say you don't want to trade the stock for a long period of time, right? You can put in the trailing stop loss. So you can put in like without showing my account information. I can uncheck auto send and click the sell. And then go down here, it's a limit. I go click off market or limit and put in trading stop. In this case, because the stock is so small, I put in 10%. So I'll put in like 15 cents and I send it and it'll move for me up and down the axis as the price moves. So the more it moves up, the more the bottom level pulls up, right? So if it goes up real fast and it pull back and drop, it'll sell where my bottom bottom candle stopped moving up at. Make sense? All right. How long is the video? Let me see. We got 30 minutes yet. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get out of this above this candle here. I'm just going to go ahead and take profit above it. I already know it's going to hit across this point because it has no 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 it has no reason not to. Look to the left. See this red candle over here? Resistance. See this point? Right on point. Resistance. Instable. Unstable. How you want to call it? It's right there. Watch it blow through it. When it blows through it, we need one candle to, to hold above this line. That's going to become support. When that becomes support, it's going to move up the way I want it to. Look at the five-day, 15-minute chart. See that? The high pre-market was 169. We got a channel right here we need to hit it, get into. We get in that channel. 15-minute chart is showing, showing bullish. Look, 15 minutes is showing straight bullish candle, straight incline, straight reversal. It's showing everything you need to show a 15 minute candle. Perfect. One minute candle, however, is showing indecisive, as you can see. The five minute candle is showing consolidation. Three different sites, three different views, three different activities. But I know for a fact by the 15 minute candle, it's telling me right now we're making the move to the bullish side. Because look right here. Previous candle was red, next one is green. Bullish candle, right? Blue past every support level we had. All we gotta do. It get to hold support above 152. That becomes our support. I'm gonna hold it for a little while longer. Meanwhile, a uh, go ahead over here at 1530. My buying point was 1538. I'm gonna hop out of it like 1580, 1590, maybe 16 bucks. So I'm watching it on my cell phone as I'm watching it also on the screen at the same time and watching my trade in ISIG. Now, if it becomes too much. To watch my big money account, I'm going to end this video and then get back to you later with my final results. But it's looking pretty good. 
Second leading gapper, 27 million share traded, 12 million share float. Check, check. We got news. Check, check. Go ahead. It's too expensive for people to buy. They're not going to buy it that much. Check, check. So everything is pointing to ISIG. Problem with buying cheap stocks like this, you need a large movement for, for a nice little price. Or you need to buy a whole bunch of shares. I only bought 200 shares. I sold. And I bought 200 more shares. And I'm stuck with the 200 more shares. You saw my first video. Well, beginning this video even. When I bought, it didn't buy what I wanted to buy. And when I sold, it held up. So it's moving up and down the axis, waiting for my order to get complete. That's the only bad thing about buying these cheap stocks. That happens. Let's go. There we go. They're going to move. They're going to move. They're going to move. Perfect. Got out of it. You saw it live. There we go. So I bought 200 shares that time, which was actually 300 bucks. Well, I bought it at 140 second time, I think it was. And uh, there we go. The first buy I bought was at 143. I hopped out, 149, you saw it halted on me, it was some, some foolishness. Then I bought a second time at 153, got out 163. So I made two trades, which should have been no trades, but I just wanted to make a trade in my small account. So there you go. 400 shares total, uh, total amount invested, total, which would have been the average of, we're going to say average of one, uh, 148, right? So we're going to say we spent uh, 600 bucks total all around these trades. and But we only made 30 bucks. That's only 5%. Better than zero, but this morning here, you see the trades we have, the options we have is few. We don't have many shares we can trade. It's options are few. And so when that happens, don't force a trade. You watch a trade. And I called it in the group. I called it on video. If it pops a candle above this, this 152 mark, it's going to become support. When I saw it blow past it with a solid bull candle, I, wa I waited for it to fill. Once I saw the fill popped up, I hopped out of it up here. At the top, almost, of the freaking candle. The top candle, 164, right there, 165. I hopped out, 163. Uh, with that being said, one trade away. Oh, I'm also on my cell phone trading. I forgot about that. Let me see. Am I this ISIG? Do I have it? Let me see. Hold on. I only know I, only know I got my cell phone. So much stuff going on. Let me All right. Yeah, I'm out of ISIG in my cell phone. And I'm also out of GoWare at 1658. So, yeah. So, two trades so far on my cell phone. GoWare and ISIG. I'm looking for a move on uh, OPTT and Staff. Where they going now? Staff is down there. OPT, OPTT is gone as well. Let me go in my, uh, let me go in my, uh, hold on. OPTT is gone. PT, ARN, ARPO, SCWD, NYMT, PCG, DRH. A New York Mortgage Company. I see mortgage is moving. All I do is I go off my list over here as add these stocks leading gappers I see into my watch list. That way, every morning I log in my account is already sitting there. Because you know by now, stocks move in waves that they're going to come up and go down all the time. This is what it is. It's just what it is. So what I have in here, respect-wise, it's stuff I trade anyway. So everything in here is in my my criteria for trading in the first beginning. So I ain't missing nothing. All right. Let me watch it. Let me find a stock to trade that I can trade for my cell phone. Where it going? S Y N L. Uh, no volume. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Spy. What's Spy doing? Ah, Spy for the reversal. Perfect setup right here. So Spy, a buy-in on Spy would be at nine twenty-five. You're going to say. Let's watch for the buy-in on Spy. See if we can get nine twenty-five on my cell phone. Right on time. Right on time. 
for a run up to nine nine seventy on spy. It's nine twenty five. There we go. Nine twenty five. Uh, we're gonna pop it. Let's go to uh the BWAP. It's up here. BWAP is up here at ten seventeen. We got a long way for the BWAP. So I'm gonna hit at nine seventy five and be on my way. Try to hop in nine twenty five. Hop out nine seventy five. Quick fifty cents. I watch it though. Move accordingly. I'm putting the group as well, 925 buy in point on SPY. The video, I'm in the video in five minutes, and I don't like making these long videos. Made two trades on uh, ISIG. Look at ISIG, y'all. Check this out. What well, I said earlier. 152 support point. Look at that. Like clockwork. It became the support point I called. Look at that right there. Too easy. Me in this video. Uh, one trade away.